no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net there's no reason we should be okay with or admire the fact that the Koch brothers have $44 billion, or that Steve Jobs, when he died, had $7 billion, or that the six heirs of the Walmart fortune have $100 billion, the same amount of wealth as the bottom 40% of America. Every one of these people is a psychopath. They are not any more fit for society than a guy who kidnaps neighborhood dogs and has them lick peanut butter off his... In fact, they're actually less qualified, because at least Mr. Nutter Butter is making dogs happy. People who collect that much money are psychopaths. They're not winners or heroes or titans of industry, and we shouldn't bow down to them or even respect a single thing that comes out of their overrated, overweighted faces. We don't respect anyone else who collects 10 billion of something. If you're one of those ladies who has 50,000 shoes, people put you in a special home. If you have a barn filled with Elmo figurines, you're considered a lunatic by most people, and they mumble behind your back. I'm not sure how it happened. I heard that her priest touched her with an Elmo Pez dispenser. Well, I heard she had a bad acid trip 10 years ago and she's never been quite right since. If you even say the word Elmo around her, she pees herself. And even if you don't judge these people harshly, you still don't take advice from them. How long would you keep listening to someone who's like, listen, you should quit your job and snowboard 24-7 because I have 15,000 human teeth in my garage, all obtained legally. And if you ask me, they're the only way to power the spaceship. So why do we behave any differently when someone collects a billion pieces of green paper with Alexander Hamilton fugly mug on them? And these people almost never think they have enough. A psychopath is defined as someone having amoral, antisocial behavior, extreme egocentricity, with a failure to learn from experiences. The Koch brothers are in their 70s with $44 billion and yet spend all day every day, scheming ways to get their hands on your social security. Because, and here's the important point, they're f psychopaths. We need to break ourselves of this insane idea that they deserve our respect or admiration, our reverence or appreciation. No one walks into a house on that TV show Hoarders where there's eight years worth of empty ice cream containers in a room filled with 17 years of Snapple caps and expired cats. No one walks in and goes, wow, you're really good at this. You must work really hard. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. A lot of my moment of clarity rants are now available as free MP3s. Just go to Facebook.com slash LeeCampComedian to download those. Click on the, the tab that says free audio downloads. Also, the moment of clarity book makes a great gift for friends who like comedy or enemies who hate it. So uh, you can grab that at pretty much any online bookseller. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.